Constitutional Conversations is a series of discussions by America's leading scholars about the principles, framing, ratification, and implementation of constitutional government in the United States. This series is hosted by the James Madison Memorial Fellowship Foundation of Alexandria, Virginia. There were two overriding objections to the Constitution that anti-Federalists uh, expressed. The first was the lack of a Bill of Rights. They had fought the revolution over rights for the most part. Many of the state constitutions had bills of rights. If they didn't have bills of rights, they had rights embodied in the cons their constitutions. And so they were used to this. If you look back into colonial history, there are over 200 documents that protect the rights of freemen. And they saw a, a new strengthened central government without a Bill of Rights as a real danger. So they wanted a Bill of Rights. The other major objection to the Constitution was the new definition of uh, a federalism, uh, the new arrangement between the federal government and the state governments. Under the Articles of Confederation, it was perfectly clear. Article 2 specified that the states retained their sovereignty freedom and independence, and Congress had only those powers that were expressly delegated to it by the Articles. Under this new Constitution, uh, uh, the central government would have far more powers and the state governments would be limited. And, and that there was a great deal of ambiguity also in how much power the central government would have. And so Antifederalists wanted a, a, a definition, a clear-cut uh, line of demarcation between federal powers and state powers. Constitutional Conversations is made possible by a generous grant from the Fairley S. Dickinson Jr. Foundation. Constitutional Conversations is made possible by the James Madison Education Fund.